Hey world well, guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to some more Rome Total War. Uh, basically, uh, yesterday I tried to record a part, I recorded about 30 minutes of uh, Rome Total War and the in-game sound was just so loud you could barely hear me and that was just well really really annoying because I was like yeah let's, I'll, I'm really pumped to make a video let's go make some Rome I can't wait and then just seeing that you know I, I can't use the footage because the sounds just way too loud and it just kind of brings down the quality of my videos so it's just annoying uh yeah but stuff like that which really demotivate dem demotivates me I can actually speak as well that probably helped the quality of my videos uh, so basically what happened uh in the, the 30 minutes you missed um we moved two legions to Spain. This legion was already completely full uh, with men, which was really, really nice. Like, this was a legion from Rome. Uh, and then I actually made this legion up. I split out a general from there and took men from this city and uh, this city where I was building legionaries. And, uh, yeah, so I just now have two legions in Spain, which is just really awesome. It allows me to take out Carthage and take out Spain at the same time, which is just amazing. Um, I was also talking about, because obviously civil war is going to be happening really really soon i need to start defending uh Aretium and Arinium, uh there and try to take out the Scipii. and also i need to start defending the cities here like build stone walls along here along my border because obviously the bruti i have big old armies over here which uh, kind of scare me so when the civil war does happen we're going to need to prepare for it beforehand i also gave up the whole of uh, africa to the numidians um yeah, it was just it was just too, more hassle than it was worth, really. I didn't really want to keep on pouring them there and just fighting them because I wasn't expanding there, so it was just an onslaught. And I'm pretty sure no one ever invades with ships on this game. Um, like I never, never do till like uh, the Shogun and actually come off come off of ships. Um, so yeah, I can pretty much def def just defend this from the millions uh, whilst I go on with the civil war. So that's pretty much the the plan. Um, but yeah, we will continue on uh, here. Four turns till surrender, which is awesome. They can't really bring up anything to kill me. Their armies are pretty small. Yeah, we pretty much slaughtered their armies. Like, we slaughtered their armies, like, really just absolutely annihilated them. I think we got something ridiculous, like, what what did we kill? We killed something like 3,000 men and lost 400, I think. So, yeah, you can tell that that was definitely a good exchange for us. Roll for your lives! I still can't believe Crete hasn't been taken yet. That's just insane. So yeah, we're going to keep on pushing forward with this army. We'll go ahead and pick up some mercenaries. We don't really need missiles. Oh yeah, my archers as well. I was fighting uh, like four, like 500 men versus like 1,000. And my archers, these guys here, just absolutely went to town on them. Killed their general in like the first volley. It was insane. Uh, you might as well just end the turn again because we're not really doing much. They're just trying to bribe uh, that place there. Uh, what are you called? No, I don't know. You're alright. You're a confident commander. You've got one in everything. We'll pick you up. We'll pick you up. Oh my god, where the hell is that? Did it say I adopted him? Marriage celebrations, but where? Because I have so many people there. When did, where did all they come from? I literally do not understand. Oh my god, it's General's Delight over here. Oh, that's not good actually. They are pissed because I've, oh, I've obviously just lost their their main dude, and he's not even going to be back there by next turn. Awkward. That's already on low tax as well. That's awkward indeed. And he just starts spreading out these freaking generals. I've so many here. Three there as well. I haven't got a general there, so let's go ahead and move up this dude. He can have a a nice estate in that place. Why is, why is the AI just building me freaking war dogs? I don't want your war dogs. It's pointless upkeep because I'm not going to ever use these war dogs when I can have elite, uh, elite infantry. <laughs> freaking AI, man. I need to make sure it hasn't done that in my other places as well. I also might as well start sending some generals out to, to that place as well. I'll let it have one war dog there. That place actually has a garrison. Nowhere else is actually building random stuff, is it? That's actually quite a nice army there. So many generals everywhere. Holy crap. This is probably what's costing me so much money. But then again, I guess it allows me to have a general in each city, which is like what it should be like. It, it'll be really nice to actually have a general in each city. Especially over on these places, we're at, which are actually really unhappy. I can actually start sending some generals over here, so I might as well just do that now. Go ahead and just select these three, and I'll divide them out. 
amongst uh, amongst these cities. And again, stop building me freaking. Um, stop building me freaking auxiliaries. I guess that's okay. I mean, I can spread these out a little. I don't even need to spread them out at all. There's just so many everywhere. <laughs> it's pretty much a full stack of these guys. And they lost. Oh well, they can be decimated for running. Decimation! Instead of decimation, it's just I'm killing everyone, so it's not really decimation. It's also helped increasing the population. I still can't believe the AI. I fucking hate the AI. Uh, agent found, people dying, loads of temples being built, so hopefully that sorts out happiness in a few places. Orders. The Kill Carthage yeah, Legion is advancing. I wonder where the armies are. Their armies like probably around here or something. If I can get a quick siege on them, that would be really, really good for me. Yeah, if I can just kill their, their, arm, well, their main place before their army gets here, the army just turns to rebel and just disappears. Uh, yeah, you need to go back then, I guess. To make you guys happy, you can take up the charge of keeping this place happy. Uh, we'll build an academy there and an academy here as well. Retrain the people fighting in that riot and repair them buildings. I mean, this dude has better management. I don't know why they're being so bitchy. Who knows, I guess, who knows. Uh, let's get better walls there because when the civil war happens, I want to have at least decent walls everywhere. Just in case they do somehow manage to break through my my front line. Crop rotation built. That's always nice. Someone just built war dogs. What the fuck? I'm going to come for whoever just built war dogs. It's this place again. I swear I took it off. Yeah, I did. So why is it building me war dogs? I don't want your war dogs. To spam them all and hopefully they won't do it again. Uh, so yeah, this dude can go in here now. He can have a nice little city over there. That general's going to run over there. These places, uh, is this place just building me cab as well? It's not just building me cab. But I still don't understand why it's just auto-managing for no reason. Like, I don't know, this isn't just randomly giving me loads of stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and get a crop rotation in the market. Hopefully I can start making me some more money, which will be really nice. No general here either. I've got like no generals anywhere. I guess because I just, when I take a place, I just carry on moving them afterwards. This place can go up here. Actually, just suggest to have a general. Suggest it does not have a general. Actually, it's probably better to put on my frontier cities. Uh, really? Yeah. I'm also actually going to get a barracks here, mainly because this is going to be one of my frontline cities against the Brutii. So, yeah, when I have to fight all of this, I want to have a decent city. And hopefully the Dacians can hold on for as long as possible and just kill as many armies as possible. That would be really useful. That can't, hopefully these cities upgrade pretty soon as well. Might as well get that to give me a bit of extra money. This dude can't even get there yet. My army of three are moving out. So, I'll split them up now. He'll go in there. He can go there. And that dude can go there. That way I can just skip through the turns. Are they still building me stuff? Financial policy. Hopefully I'll stop building me troops. Oh crap. I just maintained the siege instead of building siege equipment. That was really stupid of me. At least all these places have people governors now as well. Which is good. Numidian's trying to bribe my capital. That will obviously work. A ceasefire. Yeah, I will take a ceasefire. I don't want to be fighting with Numidians. Because... As you can see, they have a lot of territory. Here we go, the Spanish are going to come out and attack me now, which is really good. Because it means I can play a defensive war and I can just back up into a corner and let them come to me. And they mainly just have war dogs and shitty warriors. I mean, they have some bull, inf uh, bull warriors, which can beat urban cohorts. Uh, yeah, they just absolutely slaughtered me. But as long as I kill their men, that's really awesome. And fingers crossed their allies will be delayed. So I just have to kill this army without a general. The morale should be so weak. And they actually have to come to me as well. So overall... It's looking promising. I bet you I lose or get like absolutely annihilated or something. Which will be just be so upsetting. And I'll break down and cry. Live on fraps. Even though I guess it's not live. Oh. Okay, cool. So battle plan. Let's just hold our ground, play a defensive war. Hopefully their reinforcements are delayed, which seems to happen like a lot. Like I, I think it happens more often than not. 
which is kind of funny. Oh yeah, because they're Sally Forfeet, I was ready to siege and then they just suddenly came out. Uh, let's let them drop Ram. Let's just fall back and have a nice defensive line. If we need to, we can suicide our Cav, but I don't think that'll be needed. Our back ones can be our worst men, even though in Romans, the worst men were always at the front. Uh, these dudes can get back. They can actually drop their rams as well. Do I need to click drop again? I, I need to turn off steam quickly. Uh, I can't turn it off. Yeah, you can see why Rome's resolution hates my computer. This is all so big. Uh, offline. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and bring these dudes back. Oh, I still need to get them off a of ram. It's just annoying. Drop your ram, boys. Okay, they drop the ram. Let's go ahead and bring these guys forward. They can be the battle shield. I think that's actually quite a good idea. Let them take the bronze men back. Cav can go on this flank ready to pounce. Everyone can actually run. I'm going to select door and run. Control A and just tell them to run. Because I need them to really get in position ASAP. Yeah, there you go. Reinforcements delayed. Yeah. Enemy reinforcements delayed. They're sending out their war dogs already. What the hell? As long as our, our beautiful men can get in position, that would be brilliant for me. Hopefully they, they don't get too tired out either from running back into position. We need to form a solid line though. Yeah, because hopefully the war dogs will be uh, mainly taken up by this infantry. They sallied forth, so I can just wait out the time if they're going to be annoying. Why don't just stick on triple speed and see what they're going to do? Because waiting is not a problem, I win. Anyway, actually, I guess it's classed as a draw, so I probably should actually just advance, but I want them to come to me. Their bull warriors are so good as well, it's scary. I guess because they have such an advantage, they're just not going to come forward. So let's advance a little bit, I guess. I actually know where they are. They're coming out. I don't know what they're doing, but they're definitely coming out. Whoa, that's a lot of lag. Why is it lagging so much? My computer just can't handle Rome at all. It's a freaking screen resolution. just absolutely annihilates it. What is he doing? Oh my god. My freaking amazing computer can't handle Rome. Oh my god, sort yourself out, please. There we go. No, not there we go. This is so frustrating. Why can't you just play Rome? It's just... Oh my god, it's literally only this freaking screen resolution. Like, it just absolutely tears through something. Okay, it's all quiet now on the Western Front. Except when I zoom in, my computer can't even handle it. What about if I... T I wonder if it will lag if I turn the graphics down the lowest. I know this is going to be disgusting, so I hope you guys bear with me. I mean, it's not like everything is really high anyway. I can turn the resolution up, that's not going to help me at all. Oh, high court shadows normally fucks shit up. Maybe, maybe I can have unit detail on medium and have shadows off. Maybe that will help it out. Who knows? Because shadow, I know shadow, shadows made when I had my old computer made medieval lag just because shadows was on. And I, all I had to do is take off shadows, and it seemed to work. I think it's gonna no. Yeah, it's still gonna be a pretty laggy. I don't know. It's not as bad. I don't think. Oh, but it looks a bit they're charging some cab forward. Are they? Are they going to do something? Are they just making a really, really long line? I'm going to turn the graphics down just a little bit more. Just turn literally everything off and see. See if that stops it from lagging. If not, then I, I know I know for sure it's not my computer. Like, it's not my computer's fault for the lag. Yeah, it's still lagging around. My computer can run Empire absolutely fine, unlike full graphics. It's just annoying, really. Maybe we can catch them off guard if we can get them into an engagement. Yeah, we're going to catch them as well. They're routing already, lol. My slingers are literally just going to do them work. These slingers, yeah, just going to work. I am losing a few men of it, few of these, but apart from that, that's absolutely fine. 
I'm just going to advance because I want to kill off this army ASAP. Like, I just want to kill the army. I don't want to wait for them to form up, I guess. Um, so ballsy. Their general is charging me over here. General's dead. General is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. It is indeed time to press the attack. Are they retreating? If they're retreating, then they let's just full out attack now. Let's just full out go for it. Tell every single man to attack. I think we need a lot more support on that flank. Of these guys, these guys haven't been given an order yet. Neither is that unit. I think I need to bring some more units over to the, the far, over to this flank, I think. Uh, has everyone else been given an order? Let's go ahead and start hitting them. This cab's just going to smash into some of these uh, warriors over here with their uh, sick legs. That should hopefully just route. Yes, we're routing men all over the place. My general's pretty much just going to route everyone, which is awesome. These guys are actually holding their own. If they can slam in, they can keep all of this in place, which is just really nice. As soon as the peeler goes out as well, it's just going to be devastating. My general should be able to kill so many as well. Look at this mass route. We need to make our general be able to hit all of this. Like, if my general and my cav can just absolutely kill all of these men, then that's an insta victory. Oh my god, look at that route. Oh, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Have we got the course? Yeah, we have as well. Brilliant. To the city centre, men. Victory is ours. I think if we kill everyone, we actually just take the city. Hopefully that's the case. Because I'm pretty sure we can win win the, the battle. I'm not 100% sure though. As our legionaries pour in. That's our reserve legion. Well, my reserve column over here. How's my general doing? Where even is he? General's over here. He's by himself though, so we need to be a little bit careful. He should be able to clean that up though. Even though they're fighting to the death, it shouldn't really be a problem. Yeah, we're just, we're just going to win right out, which is really nice. Let's get our general some more experience as well. He can kill these. Lovely. He's already on three bars. He almost got silver experience, which is awesome. So now pretty much we just let the time run out. We absolutely slaughtered that army. As soon as their general died, just out here... It's just a massacre. Just the amount of their dead just lying on the floor. It's just insane. Look at that. You can't even see. You can see some of my barbarian guys. But there's literally just no, none of my horses. There's some of my horses here. Granted. And a few of my general horses. But just um, among their dead. It's just insane. We'll turn the graphics up whilst we wait as well. Because obviously. Uh, it's, we found out that it's not actually the graphics. I'm going to go turn up a few. Like the, the important ones. Uh, if I can click it, there we go. We'll just turn up them graphics, just because uh, it makes the battle look a little bit nicer. And you can actually see our men actually do have, actually look okay. Oh, they don't even have legs, I've obviously haven't ticked the thing which gives them legs, but it doesn't really matter, for now at least. So yeah, we're just waiting down the time. They got, I mean, they've got a few men over here, but it's not really good to do anything. We might as well just... Send our general to do the deed and uh, kill these guys off. Whilst the 50 seconds counts down. Uh, victory. We're, we're just going to continue it just so we can hopefully give him a little bit more experience. I mean, if we can kill these guys off as well. But no, I didn't give him any experience, but it's fine. And this day is clearly ours. So yeah, you can see we absolutely just wrecked them. They, we, we, they killed 400 men, we killed 1,500. That is good odds for any Roman. Definitely. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just 
Sunday. Occupy it, I think. Actually, no, we're gonna exterminate the population. It makes them like you because there's no one to actually, there's no one to actually say like have a go at you, which is just brilliant. Town grows. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Get sewers there ASAP before it starts becoming filthy. Get a market there as well. So that place is pretty much solid uh, for now on. Uh, everywhere is just building temples, which is just awesome. We now have a ceasefire. Oh, we're looking beautiful. We're starting to stretch. We'll have this anytime soon as well. At some time, we'll get some siege equipment out. Just uh, for the lols, we can pretty much build all of that in one turn as well. Uh, as soon as that's taken out, I'll leave a small gap. I don't even have to leave that many men. I'll leave a few men there just in case the Numidians break our siege, uh, our ceasefire. Then I'll just send a legion to take that and that, and then Spain's out. And then we can start preparing for the civil war, I think. Um, yeah, we can start preparing for the civil war. That place has the place. It can go there. Yeah, we're just spreading out generals as well. Keep on doing that. I mean, every place almost has a general as well. I should probably send the general up to here in case the Britons actually like to decide to come fuck with me. But we should be absolutely fine. Divius Julius is going there. Which is awesome. Yeah, every place like pretty much has a general. This dude can come. What place doesn't have a general? He's going in there. Oh, that place does already have a general. Oh, that place already has a general. Let's send him to that place. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode now. I know it hasn't been long. It's been about 20 minutes. But if you guys want me to keep on, like, pumping out longer episodes, just comment. Leave a like. Uh, likes just, uh, like, kind of show me that you guys want to see this series. And also comments. Like, if I'm just doing a series and it's getting, like, three, four comments when there's, like, 500 views, I'm going to feel like you guys don't really enjoy it anymore. So just, yeah, just make sure you keep on clicking the like and the comment. Like, it does just help me out so much more. And just makes me smile if I see a video has, like, 50 likes or something. It's just awesome that you guys... Because just guys like the video enough to just click a like. Like it's just it just kind of sort of reassures me that what I'm doing is good. Like the content I'm putting out is good. Uh, so yeah, it just means a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode now. If you haven't already, subscribe and uh, fish out.